Congratulations on the win. How are you feeling? I feel good, man. Um, I wasn't too impressed with my first two rounds, but I did what every warrior did. I picked it up and did what I had to do to get the finish. You, uh, you really had him on the ropes there for a while in that the last round. Were you surprised he was able to stay in there as long as he did? No, he was a good runner. You know what I mean? It's, um, I've always not liked fighting people that run. So, you know, he was able to uh, survive because of that, that tactic. But um, I'm surprised he chose that tactic, especially for a UFC debut. I know it's not, you know, crowd pleasing. You know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, I'll go back to the drawing boards and make sure I, I can deal with a runner like that again. When you are dealing with a runner like that, does that, do you feel yourself getting frustrated? In Definitely frustrated. There's a couple of times I just want to drop my hands and be like, come on, man, like, what are you doing? But, you know, at the same time, that was his game plan. And uh, he did land like two or three punches on me that really pissed me off. I'm one of those guys that don't like getting hit, so I'm going to go look at the footage and make sure um, I don't have a slow start like that again. And you're saying you wanted to get back in time for UFC Vancouver? Yes, sir. Is there uh, anyone in mind you'd like to meet? Um, anybody in that top 15, anybody in the top 10 can get it. Um, I, don't, I don't shy from anybody. I'm not afraid to fight anybody. So, you know, whoever Sean Shelby or my management pairs me up with next, <coughs> I'll take him on and, and uh, start making my title win. Well, yesterday, uh, was a bit of a late one with the, the weigh-ins. A bit nervous when you're getting on that scale, or how are you feeling? Yeah, because, like, on my scale, I was literally 146 right on the dot, or 146.1. And then when I got to the uh, back to the hotel, I was able to take a little piss, <laughs> just out of miracle, and just made it. How much did you put uh, back on, you know, coming into tonight? Um, I don't like to put too much back on, but right now I'm probably like 166. For people who have been following you throughout your career, we, we understand you are one of the most technical strikers in this division, but after back-to-back -back decisions in the UFC, was that a kind of performance you needed to show maybe fans who aren't familiar with your past fights? Yeah, I definitely needed uh, a knockout. There was a lot of pressure. This, this fight actually has some of the most pressure because everybody was like, you need to knock him out. You know what I mean? Like everyone's like, this guy's new. Like, you can't just beat him. Like, even my coach was like, you can't just beat this guy. He's making his UFC debut. You need to put him away. So, yeah, there was a lot of... A lot of pressure for me this fight because not only did I need to win, but I needed to knock him out. Uh, how do you block that out, or is it, is it something you, you you gravitate towards? You, do you enjoy pressure when you fight? I do like pressure, you know what I mean? I'm one of those guys uh, who likes to pick it up, you know what I mean? So, like, in the back of my head, like, I knew I had to put this guy away. That's why I was so frustrated when he was just running. I mean, I was just, I've never really, especially at this level, I've never really fought somebody who just, like, run like that. Does that make the knockout any sweeter knowing you face the difficulties in there and still got the win you want? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm definitely happy about the knockout. I'm just mad that I let him get away with a few punches. That's not really my style. I think the first couple rounds I looked a little bit sloppy. I started too slow. And, you know, it just kind of pissed me off. But, you know, I'm happy I got the, the W, and I'm going to go back to the drawing boards and make sure that never happens again. I was going to say, you got the win, but you don't look like you're that happy right now. You know, I'm, I'm very critical of myself. You know, I like to look, you know, uh, I like to do this hashtag, clean Akeem, you know, everything nice and crispy. So the first couple of rounds weren't, weren't the cleanest, but, uh, you know, the last round I did what I had to do and, and really picked it up on him and changed our game plan. That's why I switched to the clinch, because I knew if I had him in a clinch, he wouldn't be able to run from me. Throughout this week, there's been a lot of talk. So uh, maybe Max Holloway is the new face of Canadian MMA just because he headlines so many cards here. Uh, as a Canadian, how, what do you think of that? And is, is that something that you would want? as the new face of this whole country. Max is cool, but he's not Canadian. I'm Canadian, you know what I mean? So how can he be, you know, the face of Canadian MMA when he's from Hawaii? I'm the Canadian, I'm the one who, who, who's grown up here. I'm the one who's representing the country. So <coughs> definitely me, I'm one of the faces of the new wave of Canadian MMA. That don't even make sense to me. Obviously you spoke about wanting to fight on Vancouver card. If you can't get on there, is there any dream destination you have? Um, I've always wanted to fight in Brazil. For some reason, I get a lot of like DMs from Brazilian girls and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always get like mad DMs from like a lot of Brazilians. So Brazil was like one place I definitely wanted to check out. But most important, you know, I'm half Nigerian, so I think a, a UFC Africa would would definitely be quite suiting. You know, there's a whole bunch of us now. You know, you got um, Usman, uh, Israel, Super Sadiq, me. You know what I mean? Francis Guano, you know, he's from Ghana, but. You know, I think UFC, uh, Nigeria, and Lagos would definitely be a smart move. It's always said that nothing makes you smile, but I assume DM from Brazilian girls can somehow crack a, a 
Great. Yeah, sometimes it might crack a quick grin. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank you.